having a problem with the lasagna, the ricotta is actually cold. Okay. Hey, you guys. Yes, ma'am. They need this cooked more. All right. They yes, said it's cold. Yes, ma'am. Don't rush it. We're not rushing. Yeah, we are. We're going right back. This grill sucks. Dan, do you want to get off the line? This thing is awful, Sam. Dan, that char roller, I've made the best things in the world off of it. I was, again, seeing the same thing. My dad getting worn out, getting angry. Dad, go. We got it. If we can't handle it, then we shouldn't be here. And it was really starting to get to me. Joe. Joe, two seconds. Yeah. They have to learn to do it without you, yeah? Take 10 minutes out, get All some right. fresh air, please. Hey, they're fine. Get out, please. They have to learn. All right, I got this shit cracking. I just got to get a field mark working, OK, please? Do it, man. Come on. Send it, man. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Get out. Fucking hell. If I was rich, you sure the hell wouldn't be here? Well, I'd still be here. There. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Steve, we got time around this bread? Sit down. I've got the bread. Fucking hell, that guy's unbelievable. Unbelievable. This guy is incredible. He had to leave the line, he's down and out, and he's beat. So they've got to step up to the mark, and it's now or never for those guys. They've got to do it for Joe, the restaurant, and more importantly, for themselves. Come on. There you are. Thank you. You're welcome. That table was here half an hour after us. Enjoy. And we still haven't received our food yet. Honey, it's coming. How are we doing this, Sammy? Coming, man. Can I, can, can I plate this? Plate it, plate it. I'm plating it. I'm not playing. I'm plating it. OK, great. You want a goddamn award? I heard all the noise in the kitchen. I mean, it's a zoo back there. If they're screwing around, it's hard to run a smooth ship. I do apologize for the delay. OK, we got a seafood platter. There you go, dear. Please enjoy your food. Hey, yeah, quality up here. Where's the quality? Right, right here. here. Yes. Quality's there. Thank you. Unfortunately, Brian's goofing off is causing Sam to lose his focus. You want quality? I got you quality, huh? <laughs> And the customers are feeling the effects. It's I apologize. Can you please reorder this for me? What's the matter with this? The inside's on the cool side. Come on. OK. Brian, Sam, come here a minute. From behind the line, it sounds like we're fucking around. Food's coming back raw. All I want you to do is cut the fucking around and just concentrate a little bit. Because if you concentrate, shit won't come back raw. We waited an hour for our food. Now I'm sitting here 20 minutes waiting for raw fish. Just quit the fucking around. You'll see a difference in the standard. Come on, guys. I know we can do better. You're fucking here, we can do better. Oh, come on, then, just concentrate. Yes, chef. Screw that fucking shit. It's stone cold and raw. You know whose fault all this is tonight? It's his. The people are done eating, and she hasn't got her dinner. I haven't even gotten my food yet. I want to leave. All right. You know who I blame? I blame all this on you. It's not difficult, so stop making fucking pathetic excuses. Here we got Chef Ramsay giving us a hand, and now you're going to turn around and basically spit in his face and say, it's your fault that I suck? That's horrible. I feel sorry for the man. Honey, it's coming. We don't even want it. Hold on. Okay. You just got to slow down and stop being a fucking goofball throwing food out there. Good, great. Thanks. Nothing complicated. Outstanding. Good man, good man. B6 is ready to walk. We got a table walking. Let's go, guys. Get back in your fucking truck. Right. Coming to me looking for excuses. Excuses? I ain't got no excuses. You just said you blame me. You did. On this shit I ate when I first arrived. That's cool. Thanks, Chef. Huh? What a fucking idiot. Supposed to be in this together, right? I would never come back to you again. Fucking cement mixer. This guy's a pain in the ass. Let's go. Oh, boy. OK, a little taste test, yeah? Last night, for me, there wasn't enough tasting going on. There wasn't enough identification. So I'm going to pass you a little bit of food, and I want you to taste it, OK? And then I'm going to ask you what it is, OK? Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah? Good. I, I didn't know what to expect when he blindfolded us. For the most part, I do taste my food. OK, good. So one of my favorite meats, Ricky. What was that? It was beef. Legs. Tastes like chicken. You're right, Ricky. You're wrong. That was chicken. What? How are you going to mistake chicken for beef? That just blew me out of the water. Ricky, what was that? I said it was pork. Pork. Legs, what was that? Tastes like New York beef. Yep, yeah, legs is New York strip. 
Jesus. We already knew that Lex was going to get more because Ricky doesn't taste his food. Did you brush your teeth this morning? <laughs> <laughs> Holy mackerel. Right, blindfolds off. I expected you to get all of these right, and you didn't. Out of both of you, who is the better cook? I'm the better cook. I'm looking at him. Well, he certainly proved it on the taste test. Thank you. I am the better chef, definitely, you know, without having to think about it. Ricky, you happy with that? No, not necessarily. Like saying he's a better chef than me. I know where my skills are at. I know what I can do. I know what I do in here on a daily basis, you know? Look at them diamonds on that. Diamonds on my fish. Diamonds on my fish. Diamonds on my fish. First by seared scallops. Avocado egg rolls. Crispy shared wontons. Wow. Mexican, Asian, Indian. It sounds like a fusion confusion. How are you? Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. My name is Amy. Amy, nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Likewise, I love that smile. Thank you. What's the style of food here? What is it? Is it a classic American? Or... No, I think it's a classic Mexican. With an American, American twist. twist. Or a twisted chef. Or a twist. <laughs> is there a misprint on there, or is that me? Grilled Caesar salad? No. Really? The lettuce is grilled. Uh huh? Top it on the grill. You never heard of that? No, it no. hasn't hit London yet. <laughs> Okay, I'll start off with that. The grilled Caesar. No chicken, just... Uh, just... Do you know what? Throw the chicken in there, why not? Throw the chicken yeah. in there? I'll go for the... Um, um, uh, hello. Hi, how are you? Before you steal my knife and fork, we say hello. Oh. Yeah. My yes. name is Kevin. Kevin, good to see you, bud. Can I help you? Yeah, we're thrilled to have you here. I hope you can make some sense out of this shit. Yeah. Kevin! I need you. Can you excuse me for a second? Please. I think it's you're, you're busy. <laughs> yeah. Damn. I thought it was a thief. Yeah, that was random. Uh, I, I don't very know. random. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Excellent. What does Kevin do? He's a bartender. He's a bartender. Yeah, so he really shouldn't even be over here right now. So <laughs> I, I don't a even know. A bartender that just pops up and clears I don't know tables. What he's doing? Multitasking. <laughs> okay. Where were we? I'll go for the flash fried oysters. Um, I'll go for the grilled salmon. And as it's ready, just send it. Thank you, though. You're welcome. Yeah. Coming in, Chef. I'm ringing in his orders, okay? Okay. So be prepared. To me, it's Chef Ramsay's just another customer. I mean, as long as he likes my food, we're gonna get along just fine. Good to go. Walking out. Yeah, I think he's gonna love this salad. I mean, it's a grilled lettuce. I mean, can't go wrong. Grilled salad. Come on. It is grilled. You're still amazed. I'm shocked. I've never thought about it, but it's true. Like, wait, why are we grilling lettuce? Sorry for interrupting, just two seconds. But this is a first for me. A grilled Caesar salad. No, but they actually grilled the lettuce. Um, can you just show a hand if anyone else has ever had a grilled Caesar salad before? Anybody here, ladies? No? Sorry for interrupting. Sorry. Oh, jeez. Oh. I always get nervous when a chef serves me the butt of the lettuce. When you've got the butt of the lettuce on, you can never clean the lettuce properly. And unfortunately, it's not very nice inside. Dry chicken. The salad looks hideous. Why oh, is it so spicy? Everything is spicy, everything. Jesus. Thanks, Tony. How are you, sir? Going on? I'm amazing. How are you? And you are? Brad. Brad, good to see you. How long have you been here? From the beginning. From the beginning. Mm -hmm. I can't believe how plush this place is. I know. It's like, don't judge a book by its cover, because you walk in here and you see this gorgeous place. But Marmorita's doesn't live up to its expectations. If you can navigate me around, there's stuff to stay away from. Malotes, mm. taquitos, Ooh. empanadas, de pollo. Three. Yeah. And why would I stay away from them? Just because I just think they're really dry. Mm. I respect your honesty. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll bet that in my You got it. Holy crap. That's really scary. Within five minutes, been in the restaurant and then told what to stay away from from the head waiter. Ay, ay, ay. Hot sauce. Thank you. Oh, this hello. is Cheryl. This is uh, my manager. And you manage the kitchen and the front of the house? Um, front of the house. Oh. And catering. And I do catering as well. What's wrong with the place? Lack of customers. So why have we got lacking customers? 
We need more customers. We need to figure out how to get more people in here. Thank you. Thank you. And you're the manager? Yeah. Oh, my God. A manager that didn't even know what's wrong with the restaurant. It's scary. OK. Look forward to catching up. Not with the manager. Thank you. Jesus. The manager that doesn't know what's wrong. But I don't know what answer he wanted. I mean, what was wrong with that? Lack of customers. Brilliant. That's a great insight, isn't it? Right, here we go. Let's start off with a tamale. Got it. The chimichanga? Yeah. Let's go for a burrito. I think that's enough for now. All righty. Thank you. Did anybody yeah, taste anything? Nice, Perla, everything was good? Yeah, uh-huh. If Chef Ramsay doesn't like my grandmother's recipes, that concerns me. Did anybody yeah. taste the tamales? This is the bueno. See what he thinks. Tamale, I'm extremely hot. Right. Oh, no. God, I hope the tamales are moist. Jesus. It's like soaking wet newspaper. That is so dry. What you say? My goodness me. That's a fresh tamale. Well, when we make them, we make them in big batches, and then they're steamed, and then they're served, because we make such large volumes at a time. So you're sounding like the catering company now. Yes. And they go out like that? It's, they should be wet enough with the sauce inside that when you re-steam them, they stay moist. What an embarrassment. And this is your chef that ran a catering business? Correct. Jesus. OK. OK. Hates the tamales. Really? Perla? Hates them. He said it's so dry, it's inedible. He said it's embarrassing. Yeah, very dry. Are you cooking everything? Yeah. Pearl, are you cooking the chimis? Uh-huh. I use the microwave for chimichangas for one minute before they fry. They taste really, really, really good. OK, chicken chimichangas. Ooh. Chimmy, 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 changa. It's dry. It's shards of dry chicken. God, now what? Here's the thing, honestly. Chimichanga, chimichanga in the bin. What a shame. Perla, he hates the chimis. He didn't like them. I taste before. It's really good, the flavor. Not to him, apparently. I'm frustrated at my kitchen. It's a bit of a punch to the gut about my food. Steak burrito. Look at that. That is gross. It has to be the biggest ad for any diaper anywhere in California. Oh, no. Oh, God. My God. Jesus. That's like eating wet cardboard. Have a taste of that, please. Bloody hell. The steak was gamey. It was kind of like a car wash, moist and mushy. Oh, my God. That is disgusting. Let me taste the steak. He says the steak tastes like shit. Did you grill him fresh steak for his burrito? Yeah. You didn't pull it from here, right? <laughs> didn't we taste everything before we put it yeah. out? Ugh. It's really salty. Nobody tasted before we did this? What's that? A bone. A bone. A bone. I'm a vegetarian. Sorry. It's inside the sauce. Joe, two seconds. There's a bone in a rigatini. It's a vegetarian. And the tomato sauce, they put pork bones in it. What the fuck? She's vegetarian. That's how we do it every day. John is responsible for the methods that we use to produce the food. Get me John, urgently. He says, if you don't like it, leave. John. This, this is urgent now. A lady had just found a pork bone in the rigatini. We use it to give the sauce over. We always, always added sausage, So you're serving pork bones in the sauce to a vegetarian. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's how we prepare food for the last 40 years, and I don't see it being a problem. A pork sauce to a fucking vegetarian? It's the way we've always done our business. But you can't serve a vegetarian a pork sauce. Um, what the fuck is going on here? I don't know what... what... 
had fucking enough. Had enough. Had fucking enough. Do you want me to order you a coffee? Will that make it better? Are you okay? Because I can't hear you. Are you waiting for the uh, bathroom, honey? No, um, my friend got sick. Is he vegetarian? No. No. What did he have? The lobster tail. Okay. And the lobster, he said, tasted um, funny. And the next thing I knew, he was sick. John, you know what you said? Mm -hmm. The gentleman will be sick of the bathroom. Yeah, he had lobster, I had the mushroom, and then... Would you like a medical assistance? Would you like for me to call 911? Joe, pass me a lobster tail, please. I need one lobster tail. It's tough, right? Why are you guys throwing up? He's in the bathroom and he's sick. Please show me exactly what you serve that customer. Yeah? Please. Thank you. Fucking hell. You all right? Okay. Go. Yeah. Your bluff is ready. Okay. John, come here. You. you smell it. Seriously. Fishy. I can smell the ammonia. Yeah. You smell that? And that's what that man has just eaten. That's so... the ammonia. That's what releases. When the body starts to decompose, yeah. it's been pulled apart and then decompose. That's what makes it bad. Joe, just clarify something for me. We could possibly kill them. Kill someone. And whilst we're discussing this, there's a man vomiting in the toilet now. I can't believe this is happening right now. It feels like shit to know that you got somebody sick. And it's the first time you've got your head out the dough. But it's John's responsibility no matter what, because John buys all the product that we use. Yeah, please. Should we call an ambulance? Yeah. It's just not that well. Call an ambulance. Hi, this is Sal's Pizzeria. I need an ambulance. The customer's not feeling well. Your face is really flushed. Oh, my God. My worst fear is for anybody to get sick in my restaurant. Where's a shot of something? I need a shot. I need a shot of something. I got a guy vomiting. Give me something. Give me quick. Whiskey? Vodka, vodka, vodka. If somebody came to your house and you cooked them a dinner, how would you feel he started puking all over the place? A guy had some lobster and he has a reaction to it. The gentleman sit down. Oh, my God. So we just saw an ambulance come out? Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Need to kill the cameras. Kill the cameras. This is, this is busy. Yes. Huh? Got there early, aren't they? 4.30. 4.30. Who eats that it's... early, right? Wow. The decor matches the clientele. Drab, fuddy-duddy, yeah, and seriously old-fashioned. I feel like I've come to see my granny in a retirement home. I can't eat dinner at 4.30 in the afternoon. You enjoy your dinner? Well, I'm sure. So what would you recommend? The Trobiano salad is excellent. Uh -huh. It's chopped. Why would you chop it? People seem to love it. Is that because of their teeth? Maybe. <laughs> it must be a nightmare. Knife, fork, there spoon, and straw. Right. <laughs> I can't stand here. <laughs> Still need a few minutes? I know. I think I'm ready. All right. What would you Excellent. like? Uh, first thing, eggplant tower. OK. Then I'll have the chicken wrapped shrimp, please. Finally, some fish. What would you recommend? The salmon is fresh. It comes with potatoes and vegetables or pasta, any pasta you like. But you wouldn't serve spaghetti with the salmon? Yeah, people get it all the time, because they like to take the pasta home, usually. Let's go for the salmon and spaghetti one nice. OK. Excellent. Thank you. Wow. Two for one. What up? You got it. Is he sleeping over there? Is he? Shit. Here we go, right here. Table 10's appetizers, please. All right. I'm very excited to show Chef Ramsay what I can do. I feel that there will be no faults in what I produce for him. There you go. Wow. The eggplant tower? Oh, my God. <laughs> When Chef Ramsay's appetizer was coming out, you could see his face like, what is this shit? I said, oh my god, we're dead. That's definitely not homemade mozzarella. It's ghastly, stone cold, solid, and tasteless. How are you, madam? How was dinner? Fair. Fair. And what have you got in the bag? What is that? Eggplant parmesan cheese. Oh, lovely. When will you have this? For lunch tomorrow? Yeah. So you're not coming back tomorrow? No, not tomorrow. Because you've got dinner there. <laughs> I like mozzarella. your British accent. 
Thank you. I like your lipstick. <laughs> it's great spending time in the company of the Golden Girls. <laughs> oh, the Golden Girls. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Kevin, bring it out. Wow. Chicken wrap shrimp. Thank you. Chicken and shrimp. Well, I've got the chicken. And where's the shrimp? Bingo. I'm struggling with that. Looks like chicken, tastes like shrimp. Or shit. Joe. They are solid. I've never had a shrimp that hard. Why would you stick a shrimp inside a chicken? It's one of his creations, I guess. OK. You ready? Jesus. Oh, yes, thank you, yeah. Thank you. Jesus. Your shrimp was too hard. Rock hard, like a bullet. OK. He says, why would you put shrimp inside of a chicken? He says, I don't get it. All right? When the first dish came back, I was, I, I was disgusted, pissed off. I wanted to prove him wrong. I wanted to show him my cooking skills, you know, are up to par. Somebody please run this fucking food. That's a bolognese. Thank you. And there's a salmon. Thank you. OK. Christ almighty. Um, dry and absolutely hideous. Pretty really silent, dry, but, like really dry. Okay. Would you mind just? Um, Not a problem. Telling Would you, you like another piece? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. No, Thank you. Your salmon was too dry. He don't want another piece. He said this was brutal. Here you go. You want to taste it? Throw it out. When it came back, I was just too pissed off to even taste it. I was furious at Chef Ramsay saying that my food is shit. Mark. Oh, no. Can I have an order of chicken tenders because they don't like their chicken parm, please? Right. Yeah, I know. Two minutes. Uh, the month's profit. Turkey tips tied chili. Whoa, come on. Okay. Now that Chef Ramsay has observed the pattern of fast food followed by fast returns. This pizza just got sent back. He decides to do an examination of the food storage. Fridge is dreadful. Wow. Chicken breast. Oh my god, just dumped in there. Not even taken out of the bag, that's how lazy they've become. And the whole fridge is not even chilled, it's warm. There's not a decent temperature on the floor here. What is that? Unbelievable. Pork belly in a carrier bag on the floor. Next to the pork belly, you've got cooked chicken. It's actually hot inside. Just Fested in there. That's sat next to the pork belly. You've got cooked chicken. Cooked chicken, raw pork. Jesus Christ. What the fuck is that? Some form of chilli. And I'm salmon. That was the last one. Excuse me. Hello. You and you, come here. Look. That oh, is a pork. Oh, what? Well, that's yeah, pork, pork fat. fat. Just hold that two seconds. That's next to this. Fucking wings. And the top is soaking wet because it's fucking full of condensation. And this, who grabs that out there and doesn't think about changing the fold? Who could be that dirty? Chili? Chili. Shit round the outside. Look at the mess of this place. It's fucking ridiculous. Someone fucking man up. Young man, you are running a business. Hot wings next to fucking raw pork. You'll kill everybody. Are these fridges out here behind the line the same way? After a service, they're probably dirty. Show me. I didn't realize it was this bad. And that's a pretty awful feeling. What the fuck? What is that? It's a pe it was a pizza. It was a pizza. Old. What is that one? How old is that one, then? This one, that one's got to go. Will you seriously cook that for a customer? I can't. And this one? I mean, look at it. Count how many pieces are here, please. Hey, and for me, this is money now. 25. 25. What are you expecting? A cruise ship with 2,000 people coming in. And then you leave that set in there, look. You leave that set in there. You can't take that out. What's that? Oh, no. What is that, please? That's a hider. Is that tuna? That's a what? Yeah, a fucking tuna. That is a what? Oh, fuck me. And when was this last cleaned? That 
don't, 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 don't you? dare try to tell me that was done from last night. Oh, yeah. God, no, God, no, 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 no. That, I missed. Wow, what a mess. If there's one thing you're gonna have to learn, get cleaning, Mark. You've got no idea on the hundreds of thousands of dollars that you've pissed through your hands. There's a steady stream of undercooked dishes coming back to the kitchen. Back in the oven, please. Oh, oh, no. No, 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 no. Colleen. This supposed to be medium? Oh, God. Oh, no, come on. God. What is this? Rocky, could you put these steaks on uh, just a tiny bit more? All right, guys, yeah. this is just in the last five minutes. I don't know what's going on, but, you know, can someone get a grip? Please? Another medium refire. Is this normal, all these complaints with temperatures on meat? Mm hmm Especially on the steaks. Is that acceptable to you? No. People hate our food. So far, so good this evening. And she turns a blind ear, which frustrates us all, you know? Why does Rishi walk around like everything's just perfect and a big smile on her face? That's what she believes oh, no. it all is. What's wrong, darling? What's wrong? The ravioli's cold. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, the kitchen needs help. Lots. Is everything tasting good? Yeah. <laughs> the gravy feels like I got the, the bottom of the pot. OK, thanks for your comments. Um, I just want to let you know at this table right here, they both think that the gravy tastes like it came out of the bottom of the pan. They're really unhappy about that. Should I just go ahead and take that we back should, to the kitchen then? Yeah, it's your restaurant. Which yeah. table? Where would you? This table right Let's here. Let's deal with it now. Come okay. on. Um, my apologies. Madam, if you're not happy with it, I'd rather you didn't eat it. The sauce tastes like liver. Refire a fresh chicken for the lady yeah. with no sauce. Sorry about that. We'll get that going for you. Can you taste the gravy? I'm going to taste Please. it, yeah. It tastes really gritty to me. Where is it? Now I see, Where right here. Jeff, can you pass me that gravy? Everyone's complaining now about I the gravy. I see why they think it tastes like liver, because it's really gritty. What was it made? Gravy was made last week and frozen. Last week and frozen. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> it's sour. All of you. Get any plate of gravy off the tables off now. Off the tables now. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Dry as anything. The meat's cooked and raw on the same shelf. Rocky, you got the ribs there. What's next to the ribs? Raw pork. Raw pork. Get yeah, Rishi, please. Rishi. Rule number one. Cross-contamination. Ex explain to Rishi. Never saw a cooked product next to a raw product. So just look at that. What is that there? Raw product. Raw pork. What's that there? Cooked ribs. Cooked ribs. And this here, what is this, guys? Oh, my god. It's trout. What is New that? trout, old trout. Just feel how sticky that is on top. That's the old trout. And that there is the fresh one underneath, right? That we pulled today. Now you pulled today. What is that? Bread pudding. Bread pudding. Bread what? Oh, my god. Rocky, come on. When was that cooked? Saturday. What day is it today? Tuesday. Tuesday. And what we didn't sell on Saturday, what do you think should happen? Toss it. Oh, my gosh. Stop. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry and I'm so disappointed, but whatever you're eating now, just stop. Stop. During dinner service, owners Carol and Terry were stunned by Gordon's criticism of their head chef, Pinto. We don't know our ass from a home oh I'm so scared. He opened our eyes to a lot of things throughout the restaurant that people have been taking advantage of us, so we have to take a good, hard look at everything. After a long, difficult dinner service, the customers who have eaten are not exactly thrilled. Chicken's a little overdone. OK, so two soupy and the chicken is overdone. I didn't eat much of my salad because I didn't really care for the dressing. And those who haven't been served are not willing to wait. We got here at 5 after 7. <laughs> OK, so <laughs> five, five minutes I'll and that's five it. Minutes and I'm done. Okay. OK. All right, table five's going to walk out in five minutes. Oh, is this the pace we move at? Is this the fastest we go? Pinto has one speed, and that speed is fuck you. How long has it been? Gosh. Almost two and a half hours. Some of the customers have given up completely on Cafe 36 and are leaving without even eating an appetizer. 
It's just been a long day. I have to really take it all in. It hurts. After a rough night, Gordon confronts the staff. Overall, honestly, pretty disappointing. Both in the kitchen and the dining room. There's one thing in here that I would change instantly. On the back of my experience today, and that's you. Why? You are the executive chef. You're supposed to be a leader, a motivator. You are seriously, seriously leading this place into bankruptcy. Because the big problem in this restaurant, Pinto, is in the kitchen. Fresh frozen, slow thaw. I think that Pinto deserved every single solitary second of that ass reaming that he got from Gordon. If this was your restaurant, would you be freezing everything, portioning it, and then dropping in bowls of water to defrost it to recook it? Okay. Yes or no? No, I wouldn't. Embarrassing. Do you think I enjoy it, standing there and listening to this? You know, I'm a proud man. Get the message. Now show me your pride. Chef, because I'm fucking waiting. And unfortunately, whether you like it or not, the two people behind you, it's them you're dragging down. That's why I'm pissed. So cut the bullshit. Get ready for some changes, because Cafe 36 needs it urgently. Good night. <laughs>